Live from Gene Autry Way, welcome to Angel Stadium. We got a bit of a wet one coming at you. It's the Toronto Blue Jays and the Los Angeles Angels. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. About to get started here. And our pitcher tonight, Tyler Anderson. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. And here's the veteran outfielder, George Springer. Fought off foul. Kicks and fires. That one clips the outside corner. No balls, two strikes. He goes down looking. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Swing and a tapper. To first. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton. And even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And first offering is fouled off. Laddy measures six feet two inches 245 pounds and he was born in Canada That's and ball, ball one. one two more. outs base is empty on its way to the corner and it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. We head to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. Back here at Angel Stadium, and today's starting pitcher, Jose Barrios. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club, and coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled, batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. And here it comes. Huh. Nolan Shanuel leading things off and takes a strike. And it's quickly nothing in two on uh, the designated hitter. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. And the right hander deals. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Varsho makes the catch, and there's one away. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slog and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. And next for L.A., Zach Neto. They say it went. Oh, one. One down, base is empty. Right through there for a strike. Oh, 
Here's a high chopper. And that one handled. Tosses to first. Out. That's it out. Batting third. The catcher. Logan. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, Logan O'Hoppy. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Angels held in check. Scoreless after one. Back in Anaheim. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Spencer Horowitz. Spencer Horowitz. As the lefty gets to work, gets the slider in there for a strike. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is one and one. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog, Joey Mack. Sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good. But outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. They had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Alejandro Kirk, batting with one down, takes a strike. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, okay. hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. That one off the mark, and the count one and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Fights that one away, still one and two. Anderson ready to work. Pitches in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Got him swinging. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early. But we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Two down, nobody on. And they'll do it again. The 0-2. Ripped on a line. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. And here's Kevin Pillar. The center fielder. Kevin Pillar. Barrios back to work. That's a little bit low. That pitch gets the inside corner. And the count even one and one. Chop back up the middle. Jimenez. Now the throw to first on the run. High throw to first, and he can't reach it. No, he just tried to force a play that wasn't there. Ends up a single and a throwing error, so now they have to deal with a runner in scoring position. You know, good communication on the field can make a big difference on a play like that. Now at the plate, Taylor Ward. Down the line. 
Nobody oh. can get there, and it's a foul ball. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Ball. And it's even up. 1-1. One, one. And okay. downstairs. Not really attacking on the You're mound right. in this at bat. All breaking balls. So that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. Ball. That one oh. misses. And now three and one. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Outside, and that Take is ball base. four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Just missed. Kicks and deals. Runners on the move. Swing and a miss. One ball. Throw to third. Save. Double steal. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. Wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. In the air, left field, down the line. That takes care of Rendell. Runner tags for home. He'll score on the sack fly. On the board first, it's one zip. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Here's Joe Adele. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's Ball. in full speed. Ball one, no one strikes. Ball. No strike. Ward, the runner at second with one away. And it's yep. one and one. Oh, that's one that slurp one. right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. You won. And another ball. Good no. eye right there. Three one. On the ground. And that one finds its way through. Fires it to the plate. It's off the mark and he scores. It's two nothing. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Brandon Drury to the plate. Close, but call the ball. And it's 1-0. Two runs across in the inning. Bottom half of inning number two. To the right side. And foul ball. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Fouls it off. Still one and two. And a pitch. Two, two.
Up the middle. Finds its way through base hit. To third. Not in time. He's safe. Nice at bat right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. He made him really work out there on the mound. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. So one out with two aboard. So in now for the Angels, Michael Stefanik. First oh. offering, and it just misses. Oh. A little bit low. low. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two on, one out. That's Swings and misses. Now two and one. Two ball, one strike. And ball another three. ball. Three ball, one strike. And a pitch. Up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. In comes the run from third. It's three zip. Back to the top of the lineup. Next is the designated hitter, Nolan Shonowell. And that's in for a strike. Ground ball left side could be two. On a second, they get one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Now that's your stop. And now it's going to be Zach Neto grounded out his first time. Ball. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. That one to first. That's a base hit. Run scores. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So two down. Here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Right through there for a strike. Big moment in this game. Two outs, two runners in scoring position, and could really break this thing wide open early. Two on, two outs. And a foul ball. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. So nine batters come to the plate, four of them score. We head on now to the top of the third. Angels four, and the Jays nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started and stepping in the rookie left fielder, number nine. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Line of the pitch. One, two. Go back off, Blue Jays. Fly home. Fights that one away. Still one and two.
This one high in the air to left center. Brings it in. One away. Batting it. The second baseman. David now it's the second baseman. Snyder. Just missed. One ball, the Angels no leading by four. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That ball, just no. misses. Now 2-0. Oh. And he deals. Ball. 3-1. And that is cut on and missed. Now three and two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And now the lefty. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Rip to short. Whips it to first. He's out. He didn't make things easy for him there, but they still get the out. And next for Toronto, Leo Jimenez. there in its own one. Two outs. Fights it off. You'll see another. Here's the 0-2. The it shortstop did. takes the ball. Part and three. down on strikes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Blue Jays go down in order. They trail it here for nothing. As we go to the last of the third, and now the center fielder, Kevin Pillar. The pitch. That's off the mark. Ball one. You know, these Angels showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Pitch count is pretty high, and they played with four runs already, so I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs. And hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. And a pitch. The punch out there. One out. The left fielder, number Taylor three. Ward, getting Hang ready on. to hit. The walk and a run oh. scored his first time. That's a ball. One out, base is empty. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Varsho moving under it. Squeezes it. And there's two away. Go Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Two outs, base is empty. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. That one misses. Oh. One and oh. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Clement over to first. Play made. That ends the inning. So they make short work of him there. 
Three innings complete. Angels four and the Jays nothing. Back in Anaheim, John Chomby with Chris Singleton right and field, set to lead four. off the fourth, George, George Springer. Springer. Anderson back to work. And no. that one just misses one ball. a ball and no, no strike. strikes. Well, these Jays just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Hauls it in for the out, and there's one down. The center fielder, number 25. Now the number two hitter, Dalton Varsho. Boog, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find Got a way him. for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now struck out swinging his first time. And that one fouled off. The Jays still looking for their first hit in this one. Ball. And that one is inside ball one. Breaking ball, ball inside. Two and Two one. one. And that one missing low. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Ooh. Next offering is in for a strike. Count. The Blue Jays down by four. Top half of inning number four. Ball. Got it by him Ooh. for the K. Down in order go the Blue Jays. They're down 4 nothing. Back here at Angel Stadium, bottom of the fourth, and now the right fielder, Joe Adele. Joe Adele. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. At the belt and fires. Ball Next one. offering is outside. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Sends it to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. The batter, the first baseman, Brandon. And yeah, the Drury. batter now, Brandon Drury. Yeah, Angels! All right, Angels! Top yeah. of the zone, and it's called a strike. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Yeah, with two strikes here, you really want to miss outside the zone with that breaking ball. Just misses. And it's one and two. It's a good take. Ball. And another ball. Next okay. offering down low and in the dirt. Oh, 
Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice now job of bat. grinding out Second that at bat. Man. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. One gone runner at first. Here's the second baseman, Michael Stefanik. He swings and fouls one off. Stefanik measures five feet eight inches, 28 years old, and he's one of the few make runner takes off. And there's a foul ball. Drury leads off first with one away. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. Now batting. Now it's the DH. Nolan Shonwell. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Ball and one. there's a ball. Righty to the plate. Look out! And it hit him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. So two on with two away. Zach Neto, the next to hit for the Angels. One for two. If he can get through this one, put up a zero. This will help in his outings to come. Toronto's bullpen with some action. Brendan Little, the left-hander, up and throwing. First and second, two down. Bounced up the middle. A dive. Nice stop. And it beats him. What a play. Angels strand a couple, but they lead it four to nothing. Set for the start of the inning. And now the Toronto cleanup hitter, Spencer Horowitz. The wind and the pitch. That one misses. And that is ball one. Well, these Blue Jays, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so yeah. far. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still ball, searching for a base right. runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt. But it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. Popped up. Neto makes the catch, and there's one gone. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. Now, These at-bats are going to feel more and more Alejandro. desperate with every out the rest of the way. And now the catcher comes up to him. Alejandro Kirk struck out swinging his first time. No. Just missed. That's inside, and it's 2-0. and oh. The Halos leading by four, and we're at the top of the fifth. That to right, Adele going after it. And there's two down. Now batting, the third baseman, Ernie. Stepping in, Ernie Clement. Clement. Over one so far. Pulls that one foul. And he'll one. That one hit to right. Touches down. That's a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Here's the left fielder. He's 0 for 1. First offering misses badly for ball one. Oh. 
two outs. Pitch misses there. Ball two. Two outs to count. And a strike in there. Two balls, one strike. And a pitch. There's a strike. Two balls, two strikes. And that's just foul. Just foul. The 2 2 on the way. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Second baseman, David Nunder. Now it's the second baseman. Grounded out his first time. That pitch gets the corner. Strike one. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. And here it comes. Foul ball still 0 and 2. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Pilar makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Blue Jays leave a pair. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. And we're back. And, and here's Minnesota. the catcher, Logan O'Hoppy. The catcher, Logan O'Hoppy. The right hander back to work. Swing and a miss. Oh one. And a foul ball. The O two. Next ball. offering misses down and away. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding fielder, all the holes 12. in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. Pilar in the box with one away one as he takes no ball one. Wouldn't Walking. chase that time. Two Rip towards third. Clement over to first. Out. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. The left fielder, number three, Taylor. Taylor Ooh. Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And a swing and a miss. No ball. One strike. Swing and a pop-up foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. No, oh, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever oh. he wants. And now one and two. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. That's hard hit on the line. This looks like extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Throws to second, and he's there with a double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases.
pitcher now for the Jays, Brendan Little. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. Man in scoring position with two away. Anthony Rendon, the next to hit for the Angels. And the slider just misses. Kicks and deals. Now fly ball to right center. Springer on the move. And that is the third out of the inning. Angels strand one, but they're in front for nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the top of the sixth. Now here is Leo Jimenez. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. On the ground right side. Sneaks through. Base hit. And that turns the lineup over. And the batter is George Springer. First pitch just misses. And now the lefty. That one missing inside. Runner at first with no outs here. Yeah, that's outside. Three and one now. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Foul ball. Gets a piece and stays alive. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. At the belt and fires. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. Barsha in now. Takes ball one, one off the plate. The lefty the one on. And it's fouled away. Ground ball left side could be two. He flips it to second in time. Relay to first double play. Very smooth on the feed to second right there. You gotta love that glove toss, Boot. You know, sometimes. People think these guys are being a little flashy, but it actually can make more sense to do that than try to make a full transfer. And you gotta remember, these guys work on that play all the time, so it's in their back pocket whenever they need it. Guerrero in the box now, no balls and a strike. Here comes a pitch. Foul tip. Oh, that got our umpire. And it looks like it got him upstairs. Two outs. 
That ball. one misses, and the count is one and two. O2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two outs and a runner at third. And we're in the top half of the sixth. No, and that one a well. little below the knees. Two and two. On the ground to third. Base hit and a run in to score. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Tyler Anderson is done, and a nice effort out of him, no doubt. New arm coming on. We'll be back for that in a moment. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, number 59. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Runner at first with two away. So up next for Toronto, Spencer Horowitz. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Guerrero off of first with two away. Ground ball right side. And it gets by him. And that extends the inning. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now, now with two away. Back to back singles. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. And maybe they've got something going here, trying to get back into this one. And now Alejandro Kirk. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Inside just missed. Two balls, no strike. Fouled off. He was late. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Righty delivers. Fouls one off. Two and two. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the inning. And they limit the damage. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 4-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Joe Adele. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Right through there for a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Ball one there. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Tommy Nance, the young right hander, up and throwing. Number 43, also throwing. That one the other way. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Yeah. 
And here's the first baseman, Brandon Drury. Fastball for a strike. 0 and 1. The pitch. Maybe a two ball. Five. Four. Three. And they turn the double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Michael Stefanik, the next to hit for the Angels. Outside low, and it's 1-0. 1-0. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Ball. That misses. And that's ball two. two Last two couple down. of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Two down, nobody on. In for a strike. It's two and two. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Tries to hold up, appeal to first. He did not go around. Payoff pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Back here at Angel Stadium, and now here is Ernie Clement. And a pitch. There's a strike. Foul ball there. Oh, and two now. Ball and the pitch is outside, ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Hunter Strickland up and throwing. Quijada, the lefty, warming up as well. And that's in the dirt. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Just a weak fly ball this time. Stefanik hauls it in, and there's one away. Now that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Now the left fielder. All right, Los Angeles. And wow. immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Next offering is in for a strike. Let's go. 
One down, base is empty. Ball one. and misses. That's the second out. Up next to the Blue Jays. Two outs, base is empty. The Here's the second baseman. Davis Schneider. Ball. That misses, and that's ball one. Two outs. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's bad. Going gone. His 11th of the year. It's 4 2. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run to the slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. So, two away with nobody on, and now for the Jays, Leo Jimenez. That one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. No. That's a little bit low. Right-hander kicks deals. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here in the top half of inning number seven. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. Two two. Popped up foul territory behind the play. Ohapi makes the play and it's out number three. The Jays get one back on this homer. It's now four two. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Tommy Nance on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher. Whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw. And just let him lead you in this one. Shanowell stands in now and watches strike one. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. One up, Out. one down. The batter number nine, shortstop, Zach Neto. So digging in, Zach Neto, one for three. Come on, Los Angeles. 
Oh, and downstairs, Nance. In his third season, he throws a slurve, a sinker, a four-seamer, and he works in a slider. And a pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Fires to first on the run. Got him. Out on a bang-bang play, but he made it close. The catcher number 14. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan O'Hoppy. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. Go, and first offering is fouled off. down looking and the Angels are gone in order but they still lead this one four to two welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight Hunter Strickland these are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves late and close there's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Here's George Springer to start it off. George Springer. And here it comes. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. So a man on base to start the inning. Now that the center fielder. Dalton, Dalton Varsho Dalton. next up for the Blue Jays. That misses the zone. Ball one. one. Ball. No strike. On the ground to first. And there's a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. We just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. next up for the Blue Jays. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. And that's in for a strike. With the go-ahead run at the plate, and we're in the top of the eighth. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Breaks his bat and pops it up. Now that is the first baseman. Spencer. Two on, one out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Spencer Horowitz. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. That one ball. missed. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Strike on the inside corner. Springer at second, Varsho over at first, so going away. Just missed. Pitch misses, and that's ball three. Alejandro Kirk to bat next. So the tying run at second and fouled off. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. 
Left hand batter waits. Line and that's a base hit. Runner around third. And he's in safely at third. They pick up a run and now it's a one run game. And he'll reach second with one away. Now batting. Petra. Alejandro. Curry. So two in scoring position with one out. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. Ground ball left foul. side. And it's just foul. That was close. That's the third. Rendon. In plenty of time to first tie ball game as they get the second out, but the run scores. Now back, third baseman, 30 minutes. New pitcher on now, Carson Fulmer. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Fulmer. Ernie Clement next up for the Blue Jays. Now the focus shifts to taking the lead. Just find a way to get on base. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Two down, go ahead run and score in position. Right-handed reliever. Gets a piece and it stays 0 2. And the right hander deals. And that one hit to first. And foul ball. And a pitch. Swung on, belted. That one carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. And we are tied 4 4. Bottom of the eighth. And, and the batter now, Kevin Pillar. The center fielder, Kevin Pillar. The pitch. That one finds the zone. It's 0 1. Tied at four. This to third. Clement over to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Third base would have to be so quick with their first step reactions. Hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. Next to hit, Taylor Ward. This one in the air center field. Varsho moving under it. Snags it for the second out. The third baseman, number six, Anthony. Now it's Anthony Rendon. Rendon. That's in for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. Back to back singles. So the go ahead run is on base with a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Luis Guillorme, the runner on first with two gone for him. Right through there for a strike.
ball. That misses. And the count is one and one. Way out front for strike two. One, two. Next pitch is outside. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs. That one is absolutely belted. Should be extra bases. Around second on his way to third. Headed for the plate. He'll score. The Angels take the lead. It's 5-4. One of the hardest things to do in the game, to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity, and he came through for his club right there. So, runner at second, two down. And now the first baseman, Brandon Drury. No. That one close ruled a ball. One, oh. one and oh. Line drive, and that's a base hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. The tag, and he's in there. Well done, drives in the run. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Two outs, runner at first. And next for the Angels, Michael Stefanik. And a good eye Off there. The He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. And he deals. And Two another up. ball. Ball Close three. one doesn't get the call. And now 3-0. Fastball for a strike. Two runs across in the inning. Here, in the bottom half of the eighth inning. And ball four, two aboard. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and oh, walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Righty reliever out of the pen, number 43. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And. One of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Back to the top of the Angels lineup, and next is the designated hitter, Nolan Shonwell. That's a hit. Coming home. Here's the throw to the plate. He scores. It's 7 4. Wastes no time there. Really nice job staying inside with his hands to fight off that pitch. Man, that cutter was bearing in on him, but he found a way to stay with his approach. Didn't spin off it, and he hit it pretty well. Zach Neto will hit next. I'm curious how he decides to attack on the mound. This guy at the plate has been great hitting under pressure this year. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. No ball. One strike. <laughs> On the ground to the left. Fair ball. Around third. He will score. And it's 8-4. That's three singles in a row. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. So first and second with two outs. 
And next for L.A., Logan Ohapi. 0 for 4 with four strikeouts. Ball. And that's downstairs and outside. That one ripped right center field. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. One run is in, the relay to the plate, he's in there. And it's now a six run lead. Nicely done, brings home two. He got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Man at second here with two away. Kevin Pillar, the next to hit for the Angels. That Whoa. one misses. Ball one. Wouldn't you chase won't. that time. Ohapi stands at second with two gone. Ball. That one drifts no, inside. It. And there's the automatic. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. The left fielder, number three, Taylor. Zach Pop taking over on the mound. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be in their toes with him on the bump. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. There's a strike. Two on, two outs. Boots it. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score it. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Two outs, bases loaded. Now the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty to the plate. Ball. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Ball and three. another ball. Activity in the bullpen. Eric Swanson preparing to come on if needed. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That is ball four, and that'll bring home a run. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. Here's Luis Guillorme. He doubled home a run at his first AB. That Whoa. one misses. That's five straight. Two outs. Bases are full. Ball. 
Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and they now lead by nine. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And here's the first baseman, Brandon Drury. Ball that misses one. the zone. And that's one ball, ball one. No Plenty strike. of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this um, but yeah you definitely expected to see some offense coming up Ball off two. the mark there and it's two and one Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. That is the inning. But they put a nine spot up on the board here to open up a big lead. Through eight full, Angels are out in front 13 to four. Now into the ball game on defense, Mickey Moniak. And man, they're asking a lot of him to play completely out of position. Here's the left fielder. The left fielder. Joey Loperfito. The pitch. Close, Close but called a ball. And it's one to know. Movement in the bullpen. Matt Moore, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. Bauman also getting ready. And the pitch. And a foul ball. The pitch. Swing. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Kicks and deals. Bounce to third. Rendon. Zips it to first. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. Now it's the second baseman. He's already homered in this game. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. One down, base is empty. No, and that one down. missing low. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. And the righty deals. Ball. That's that one misses. And now three Both and two. Down. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. At the belt and fires. Downstairs and Take it misses. Base. Ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Jimenez now at the plate as he swings through strike one. The Angels up big in this one here at the top of the night. Missed with a changeup. One and one. The pitch. Ground ball to the right that's side. Foul. And that's just foul. High fly ball down the left field line. Ward sizing it up. Ward makes the play. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. So they're down to their final out. Here's George Springer. 
Misses no, outside, that's and that's ball one. No. And another ball. Kicks and fires. There's a swing and a miss. Two one. Fulmer is just one strike away. Rendon. And that'll do it. That's how you check a box to start your career, boo. First MLB win in your first MLB start. Congratulations to him on a major milestone. 13-4 is your final. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.